Hey, 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 YouTube, it is your girl, and I am here with a product review. Okay, so what I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today is a couple of things that I was able to pick up and they actually sent me like two things from Hard Candy. And I discovered Hard Candy from my local Walmart and I was really at the time looking for a really, really good, good, thick uh, drugstore brand concealer. And as you guys can tell, or as you guys know, I do have a lot of freckles. And sometimes for different makeup looks, I don't want my freckles to show. And sometimes, mostly in the summer, I do want them to shine through. So at the time, um, I wanted something that was really, really thick, that was going to completely cover my freckles, and that was reasonably priced. It was hard. <laughs> it was so hard for me to find something. I couldn't find the right shade. I couldn't find the right consistency. Or it would it look cakey. Or it didn't cover. Or it was just a hot mess. Until I found these little babies. These are Hard Candy Glam Ouflage. <laughs> it's a heavy duty concealer. Um, it's for imperfections. And it's super prominent. And I would have to say... This stuff right here is the absolute truth when it comes to concealers. Um, I do have concealers by other companies like, I think it's like LA Girl or things like that. But I'm telling you, if you have problem skin or you have a, situ a situation where you want to completely cover something, this is the mother. This is the end all be all to drugstore brand concealers. I am so in love with this concealer. Now, um, at my local Walmart, I do live in a predominantly urban or African American neighborhood and the darker shades are always sold out and I'm like, oh, I need the darker shade. Even though I'm kind of light bright, I'm more of a NC uh, 40 right now in MAC terms. So I initially picked up medium light. Medium light it is the pale of palest of pale colors that I have ever seen. And it was too pale for me. So I had to wait and I waited months and months and months. Although I could have ordered it online because you can order from walmart.com. Um, I finally was able to get tan. Tan is the perfect one. And matter of fact, I do have it on um, underneath my eye and just a little bit here. But underneath my eye right now, I sheared it out. I didn't want to go um, extremely heavy thick coverage with it but I'm going to show you uh, these two colors so I'm going to put tan right here and that's tan so as you can see it's kind of well don't look at my hand color and my, my hand and face colors are um, completely different I, I'm just born that way and then here is medium light and I'm going to put medium light right here and as you can see it's super pigmented and one is and there there's a better shot how the colors really really look um it is kind of liquidy but once you start to buff it in either using oh my god like really like look at that using your finger like look at how much it's covering it's covering all like really like like where you get that kind of coverage at like wow like seriously, seriously, seriously. And then here's the one with tan. I think, I, okay, look, I have a, where is it? A cut right here that I was getting ready to cover. So can you see that cut on my finger? You see that? So I'm going to go ahead and get some of this. Uh, put it like this, get down in it. So as you can see, yeah, that cut you can kind of see where it's bubbling up right here. There's the cut. 
and yeah it completely covered everything let me get all this stuff off my head <laughs> so i am definitely in love with their concealers in the pack you do get um a pencil with it i'm trying to take it all off it does last one of the things i do recommend when using this one because it is a um like a liquid to cream or cream to powder type of consistency is that you do set it and i just use my regular setting things with it either um like a setting powder or something that brighten my eyes even more now it does come with this here concealer stick or stick a pencil so you can really like pencil in your problem areas but what i have like to be using this, uh, what I like to use this for is to go underneath my eyebrow with it so it really really comes in handy with it it's a really small pencil and it's more of a it's it's not super soft it's kind of soft there it is so you can really get precise coverage where you need it ah, I cannot talk today um another thing that I picked up from hard candy is and i purchased all of these um they're primers i have been looking for a replacement eyeshadow primer for a while now and they do come in different colors the one that i picked up first and the one that i am loyal to is this here this is the white one this is the regular eyeshadow primer um again it goes on kind of liquidy but as soon as you put it on and as soon as it sets it starts working like right away so there is that it it feels loose it feels thin but it it does work so what i do is um when i start doing my eyebrows i'll put this on my eyelid and while that's sitting and kind of drying a little bit by the time i'm finished with my eyebrows and ready to put on my eyeshadows this stuff is ready to adhere and attach itself to the eyeshadow and it again does not crease and I have extremely hooded hooded eyes and I sweat a lot and it works so the other shades this one has the shimmer in it I did do a tutorial on this look this very simple look and I used this one as a base so as you can see my eyelids are shimmery but I did use a shimmery eyeshadow so I wanted to make sure it was super shimmery so there is that one and let me kind of share it out so you can kind of see how it's picking up the shimmer 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 and then there is the black one okay so if you're going to be doing like a smoke eye you would use this one as a base and then you would put on your darker colors on top of that and just help intensify the like if you're using black or gray or dark brown or copper it helps intensify the color um even more by having like a a black shimmery powder or primer um now one of the things that hard candy did send me was this this is their glow the ombre baked blush and i have actually been using it as a highlighter slash blush if you can see this baby right here you see how it is light to a nice pink tone i have been using this light part as a highlighter and i think i'm going to hit pan on the light part of it i have it on now so it is all up on all of this all of this shimmery shine and lusciousness on my cheeks it is this so i put this on as a highlighter up top and i mixed in just a little bit because some regular blush because i didn't want a complete pink i wanted more of a coral so i put just a little bit of this pink in there and then i put on a more orangey tone um blush with it to make up my own beautiful blush and highlight color so i use this one and this one is in the shade punch which number is 994 so I love these and I did I, I know that I did a look I had I used this I just don't know where I put the look I must have posted it on Instagram because I, I haven't been in social media for at least a month now I took a little break but I did use this pan and if I have to say I have fallen in love with their eyeshadows you guys don't sleep on hard candy eyeshadows you guys know I am all about pigmentation and pigment in eyeshadows and I love rich, 
rich eyeshadows and I would have to say that their eyeshadows are like if this is MAC and this is Kat Von D they're on the same playing field hard candy is in the mix with those pigmented like eyeshadow companies like really like serious okay let me just show you an example so I'll just go down this here's the shimmery ones the shimmery ones are right down the middle these are the mattes and oh there these are shimmer the big ones on the side so you get a clean finger beautiful that is one swatch look at the pigmentation just like that and get another clean finger here is the silver one boom just like that and get another clean finger oh my god oh, this one uh, just like that I mean seriously let me, let me okay here, they have a black in here here's a test it's not a black black but it is a very rich oh wow like really it's a rich grayish smoke it's not you, you can tell it's not super black black it's not the blackest of black of eyeshadows that I have but it's a pretty pretty smoke black color let me smear it out just a little bit so you can kind of see and tell wow so their eyeshadows are really really pigmented this one is their smoky eye and it comes with the primer a mirror and a little booklet oh darn something fell out oh it was um a brush the what do you call them i call them like q-tip brushes but it was right here where it's uh, like a q-tip on each side i normally take those out um and it comes with a liner it comes with a little book that shows you how basically a tutorial book and on the back also it tells you about using it so that is super super cool so i will be collecting their eyeshadows and matter of fact i purchased a few and i'm going to be doing a giveaway shortly um i did use their natural one so it is this one right here excuse the lighting like i have the lighting like really really up high right now <laughs> so here yeah, those are the little q-tip things so here is the natural looking one and then they had one it was in a purple case and it's underneath all of my this is my giveaway box so everything i'm going to be giving away in the future is in this box i believe it's at the bottom because i been playing around with this stuff for months so I wanted to make sure that I came back with a not a first impressions but a thorough impression review so I do like them I did go out and I purchased my own palette and everything so it is top-notch now what's my favorite from the line the concealer the concealer is bomb oh my god I can I have to have it in my, my makeup kit. I have to have it in my stash. It is that amazing. Um, runner up. I do love the highlighter. No, the eyeshadows. Okay, what? it's so hard to pick. So the, the concealer, the eyeshadow, the highlighter, then the primer. I, have, I think I have a foundation from them. Hold on one second. I've had it for years, so um, yeah. Let me check. And I do. I, as you can see, all of my foundations and stuff are, yeah, these are, yeah, I have an addiction. But <laughs> this is from Heart Candy. They have a CC cream. The shade that I picked up was medium. I believe it was too light. Um, I purchased it again at Walmart. And let me find a, yeah, it was too light for me. So they have a foundation stick. And I, I really like their foundation stick. Um, oh. Yeah, I kind of messed that up. <laughs> um, I did like their, it's a tinted moisturizing stick. It is really cool. It's nice to just have in your purse if you're going on vacation and for travel. Touch up your makeup, just something really light and natural. I really liked it. Um, I just didn't use it a lot because I normally go sheer in spring. So, there you have it. I do like it. I do like all of their stuff. Um, the only thing that I would pass on... I don't know I don't know everything that I've tried I've liked to some extent and I have somehow incorporated it into my makeup routine and oh my god I have some other shimmery things from them I, I did get some blushes from them 
like seriously like like seriously I do have like like other things from them like I really do use their products so I really do like them so yeah I'm pretty happy with everything that I've purchased from Hard Candy and the, they were so nice enough to send me the eyeshadow and the blush and I really really appreciate it or the highlighting blush but I really really appreciate it and if you want to see more detailed um reviews on this I'm going to be putting it on my blog which is makeupvixen.blogspot.com I cannot talk today so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys later <laughs> bye